Strike number four. Watch up on five. 70 take one. 21 take one. Take 25. 101 take two. 137 take two. 137 take two. Take two. Good evening. Or good afternoon, or good morning, whichever it may be. In any case, please accept my greetings. My name is Laurence Olivier, and I'm speaking to you from Shepparton Studios in London. In a very short time, it will be my privilege to bring to you one of the great dramatic works of William Shakespeare, presented on film with all the living immediacy of the theater. The production of Othello, which we're now completing in these studios, is quite honestly an experiment in motion picture entertainment. Our aim is to create the atmosphere and feeling of live theater in a film. My lord shall never rest. I'll watch him tame and talk him out of patience. His bed shall seem a school, his board a shrift. I'll intermingle everything he does with Cassio's suit. We shot this production in four weeks. It is not a photographed stage performance. It is a film of a performance, shot against not film sets, not stage sets, but backgrounds to the situations, offering as little visual distraction as possible from the intentions of the author or our performance of them. Gives me wonder. Great is my content to see you here before me. Oh, my soul's joy. At the same time, however, the sets do represent in simplified form the places in which the scenes are played. If she be false, oh, then heaven mocks itself. I'll not believe it. How now, my dear fellow? It's very simple, as you see. I'm glad I did that, because now you can see that this also was a set. That is most definitely not my great-grandfather. I never had an office like this in my life. And I don't suppose I ever shall have until they build the new National Theatre in London, perhaps. So let's all offer up a little prayer. However, to get back to Othello. Othello has always been regarded as a dueling match between two actors. And in my earlier experience with the play, about 20 years ago, I much preferred the role of Othello's scheming NCO, Iago. Look to your wife. Observe her well with Cassio. Well, your eye thus, not jealous, nor secure. Also, there were for me the difficulties of creating the voice and the characteristics of Othello. He must suggest a larger, stronger man with a deeper, more powerful voice than I am or have. Why is this? Think thou I lead a life of jealousy to follow still the changes of the moon with fresh suspicions? No. Faced with these challenges, I was understandably very delighted that our National Theatre production was so well received in London last year. We were also flattered by the offers we received to present the play in virtually every theatrical centre of the world. But because of our other commitments, we're unable to give up a year or more to the worldwide tour we've been asked and would have liked very much to make. So, this film presentation of Othello seemed to be the best way of sharing with audiences everywhere the exhilaration and sense of fulfillment which we in the cast experienced in performing one of Shakespeare's most exciting pieces of pure theater. <coughs> Did he have no home? The tower rise! <coughs> You. It may reawaken an interest in the works of Shakespeare, but for most, we will have succeeded if, during its limited engagements in your local theater or cinema, we provide the evening of full-blooded entertainment that the author intended Othello to be. That's the sort of thing. It's very simple, as you see. Thank you. Did you take one? 21, take one. Take 25. 101, take two. Quiet! 